Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card, we're going to take a look at what gifts are you working with right now. So in life, you know, we've got challenges that come up and I do believe that yes, we're given a challenge, but we'll also be given a gift as well or something within us some internal resource that we can use to overcome that obstacle or that challenge. So that's really what we're going to look at today. In the quote jar, I have got the remnants of the song lyrics. So as you can see, we've still got quite a few to get through, quite a few indeed. So that's going to be lots of fun. Um, I don't know how many episodes worth we have in there, but let's just keep using them until they run out because I did quite a few. But as always, you're very welcome to pick your group, pick from group one, group two, group three. I know that there's one of you who really wants to have objects placed on each group and that otherwise it's very difficult for you to make a decision. Today I didn't put the objects because I'm outside. Uh, I can recommend a very good reader who does use objects. Her name is, I think she's called Triple Two Tarot. She does readings in English and Hindi as well. I absolutely love watching her channel. It's a massive channel. She does excellent, excellent, excellent work. So I can recommend that. Um, and I can, of course, recommend... Uh, there are so many readers. Uh, who else? I think JJ Constellation. I watch JJ. I don't think she does objects. But I know that's really important for one of you out there. I will do it at some point. But, you know, um, it's just today I, I, I'm outside and yeah this is this is what we have so I look forward to seeing you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place let's take a look at what cards you've drawn through now, as with any of my readings what I ask you to do is use your intuition see what comes into your mind as we go through these cards. So we've got the here and now card. That is a beautiful card. Love that. We've got the new beginnings card, which frequently comes up from this deck when I do these picker cards. Isn't that interesting? I shuffle really well. And yet this one keeps coming through. We've got the opposition card here, planetary opposition. This is really interesting because I have been looking at that as I write the notes. I'm putting together my notes for the June Outlook. And we've got a very strong Saturn-Mars opposition. So I'm saying to everyone across the board, be careful of accumulating debt. Uh, very practical note there. <laughs> Don't know if anyone needs to hear that here. Uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. You've also got the Five of Swords in reverse. And last tarot, you've got the Eight of Cups upright. Okay, so what am I seeing here? Well, as a general note for you guys, I do think this is a new beginning in love. And I know as I've been working with group one, now this is a timeless reading. You don't need to have seen last time's reading at all. But I know last time, I think there was some heartbreak in group one. And I think we are still dealing with the heart because I'm looking here. I believe you've manifested a new beginning. I do believe it's in relation to love. We have the Knight of Cups here. We have the Eight of Cups here. We are dealing with emotions. So you have manifested, I would say, a new beginning in your heart. We've got a lot of green aqua green here on the table a lot of green green is the color of the heart chakra so i believe you've manifested a new beginning in the realm of your heart which is so beautiful perhaps you've done some really good work of clearing out your heart or clearing out you know the old uh anything old i think i mean that's 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 clearing out and my throat's really good while I'm talking about this. So that I, you, you're doing the work. You're doing good. Okay. Otherwise, I'd be coughing and it would all be terrible. <laughs> all right. Now, I think this new beginning could even be bigger than love. I think this could be your whole self. 
because we've got this opposition card this is 180 degrees right and I feel like who you have been you're and I think the more okay you are with who you have been I think you can ra do something radical and you can experiment and be something totally different to how you've ever been before so if you've always treated love a certain way or if you've always treated your work a certain way or if you've always done something a certain way maybe this is a great time for you to experiment and to do something radically different to approach relationships in a whole new way I think that would be amazing you know and if we're looking at these cards in the context of what gifts are you using now so what challenges are you going through now but what equally what gifts are online for you now let's focus on the gifts because I think they're pretty impressive you have got a tremendous gift for being in the here and now now you might not think so you might think well I spend a lot of time worrying about my past I have anxiety about my future you might think you're not always in the now but what I want you to do is I want you to find those times where you have been so in the now that you look up at the clock and you go, oh my goodness, is that the time? You do know how to be in the now. You really do. You must have had loads of those times. And those times, I have that time actually when those of you have got a reading from me, when you booked me for a reading, you know I'm terrible at timekeeping and I do go over time a little bit because I'm usually so in the now. I kind of forget to look at the clock and, and look at the watch. And I know that's not so great, but um, <laughs> but like from like the standpoint of running a business or whatever, but I know it's good for you guys and that's why I do it as well. But um, I, it's, I genuinely have so much fun when I'm doing a reading that I don't look at the time so much. So what is that thing that you do where you have such a good time that you are so in the now that you do not notice the time at all and ideally you need to do more of that thing whatever that is okay so whatever that thing is that you do where you don't know where the time goes and it might be painting it might be jewelry making it might be you know indulging in a great book or going for a long walk and you lose track of the time and you go for longer than you thought or whatever it is you've got a gift for being in the now and if you spend time with that gift and enhance it and expand it, uh, you know, that's actually the place where you're going to tap your riches as well. If you can make your living out of being in the now, you being in the now, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I, I'm just indulging in my passions and what I'm loving. And uh, yeah, it's, it very much requires me to be in the now. So you've got a real gift for being in the now. I also think, and this was one of the things when I looked at with this spread, I think that you're an incredibly decent, good and kind person. You're an incredibly decent person. When this card, Knight of Cups, is upright, I heard a tarot reader one time, she said, it was so brilliant, she said, oh, this is the card of the player. And I laughed, I thought that was so funny. And I thought, yeah, it is. When it's in its reversed position, think about it. This means that you are not a player. You are a person who, you know, you're not, you're not just going to, in a glib way, romance somebody or in a superficial way, romance somebody. No, I think for you, love and romance and all this type of stuff is incredibly deep. And I think you're a person who doesn't play with somebody's heart. And that's a wonderful gift, you see. And... I also think that you've got, so there's a lot of decency and there's a lot of dignity as well. You know when to walk away. You know when to walk away, when walking away is right for yourself. You know when walking away is right for that other person. Because you know that, you know what, and don't, this is the other thing. Sometimes people will criticize people who walk out of a relationship or they'll say, well, did you really give it a chance or did you really try? And... I think you're a person who would with this card here I think there's a depth of your feeling about love and I think that you walk away when you know you've tried everything when you know you did your best 
and when you know it's right for you you're, you're either going to save you or you're going to save that other person and I think that's a really great thing and I think it's really good as well to you see walking away it's such an art because some people leave too soon they didn't try everything but then some people stay in a really bad situation and when I first saw this spread I saw that you are the kind of person that you won't stay in a bad situation you will know to take yourself out you will know that do you know what there's one or two of us suffering here I'm going to I'm going to call it a day you know and that's a real gift that's a real art to know when to do that now the Five of Swords here, this is an interesting one. This is a really interesting depiction uh, of this. And I really think this, with the colours as well, it's linking into the here and now. I mean, again, this is just re-emphasising that you really need to be in the here and now. Because if you look at this gentleman, he's holding his head here. He's, he's kind of stressed out. And these crows are circling. In this deck, the crows are um, the swords, really. But I'm pretty sure in a traditional deck this is a sort of when it, I think when it's upright it's an empty victory I think when it's in its reverse position again this is tying in with the quality of you as a person and who you are and what you're about you're a high quality person who doesn't play with someone's heart you know when to walk away and you're not gonna you're not gonna engage in these mind games and competition I'm pretty sure five of swords as well is competition it's empty victory it's a lot of things but you're like mm, I don't want to I don't want to do that stuff anymore it's not right and you want to walk into the Sun you want to walk into greener pastures into happier times and you know that the happier you are the more likely you'll attract that that reflection to you okay we're gonna take a look at song lyric for you and see what comes through I'm very excited to do this or oh, I should draw this on camera <laughs> so that you see exactly which one comes I have no idea I've completely forgotten now which songs are in here that we haven't oh my gosh we've got another James Taylor song I love James Taylor oh wow oh this is so beautiful this is a gift this is this is you this is exactly what we're talking about here okay it says the secret of love is in opening up your heart it's okay to feel afraid but don't let that stand in your way the secret of life by james taylor yeah this is a really beautiful song and if you want you can find it and listen to it it's really sweet and it's just about the secret of life which i kind of feel like you guys know i think I think you guys know, especially when we're looking at these cards in the context of what are your gifts and what gifts can be you be working with now. You know how to be in your heart space. Look at that. We've got opening up your heart. We've got all this green. We've got the, the heart chakra here. And very much this is a picture of get out of your mind. You know, get into the heart space. We've got new beginnings, right? All the healing. The mind can't do it. The mind isn't going to heal. Okay, the mind can think about things uh, and slice and dice, but the healing, look at that, the healing is here. The healing is in you walking away. It doesn't have to be forever, you know. Maybe you walk away from something, it heals and it comes back to you. And it will come back to you healed and it will come back to you whole. And I love this line, it's okay to feel afraid, but don't let that stand in your way. Definitely, and when we're talking about you reinventing yourself, this 180 degree transition and the new beginnings it's okay to feel afraid it's okay to feel like okay well I'm leaving this thing behind but is there going to be something there for me it's okay to feel that of course there's going to be something or someone or you know whatever it is that you you might feel that you're missing there will be you know nature abhors a vacuum so you know whatever it is that and Rumi talks about this he says that don't grieve Anything you lose comes around in another form. So beautiful. And I think you know that. And I think the more you tap into the here and now, the more you're going to feel feel good and, and attract good feeling things in. You know? 
So group number one, I hope that's been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you've drawn through. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates, discard what doesn't. And the other thing is, I always encourage everyone to use your intuition, see what comes into your mind. You know, fire up your imagination, see what symbols reach out to you, speak to you. Oh, release. Fantastic. You know, it's autumn here and we've got a lot of leaves falling to the ground. And I know in the Northern Hemisphere for you guys, I'm sure you've got a lot of things in bloom. But we are rapidly letting go of our old leaves. All leaves are falling. Okay, Scorpio. Now, if ever there was a sign that needed to let go... <laughs> Oh, I remember smiling when I saw that earlier. I was like, that is interesting. Okay, the tower in reverse. Look at that. Wow. And we've got seven of cups in reverse. And we've got the six of wands upright. I love this card. Look at her earrings. V for victory. Isn't that great? I love that. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have going on here? When I first looked at this spread, I mean, I just thought it was so perfect. And for me, there is a kind of general message. This one was sharp like an arrow. This is just... So without going into the context of the topic, I'll just give you a general message what these cards just say to me. So I... What I'm getting is that there's something you need to let go and it could be buried quite deep and there's resistance around letting go but it's all come to this stage where it's like your only option now. This is the card upright, options. Okay, you got a lot of options. You can choose this, 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 this. You don't know what to choose. When it's in its reverse position, it's very much saying there are no options, <laughs> right? So something has culminated into this situation where it would be very good to let something go, okay? Uh, and there's, a, there's resisting of letting go. And I, that's kind of twice here because Scorpio can really resist letting go. That is definitely something that I've seen. Mars is an energy sometimes has trouble with letting go. Isn't that interesting? Uh, I've seen charts where people, yeah, sometimes with heavy Scorpio, Scorpio, Jupiter, things like that, they can find it like this, they, they don't even, like they're hoarders and they don't let go of their clutter and things like that. There can be a resistance here with Scorpio to letting go. What I can very happily and confidently tell you is if, if you let go, your life is going to transform and you're going to be victorious. It's going to be amazing, right? This letting go of whatever it is that you need to let go of. Now, this is a card that I haven't talked about. And I think in a general sense, it could be said that perhaps there's someone you need to let go of uh, in your immediate community or vicinity, someone in your peer group. This could be a friendship thing. Uh, this could be a friendship that you need to let go, right? That would it would be good for you to let this person go. So it could be that. Uh, I'm kind of like, I'm looking to the side. It's like there's somebody to your side on your level that it would be good to let go. When I first looked at these cards earlier, I also thought that there could be an entire community that you need to let go. And maybe it's something like the mainstream community or maybe it's, you know, you need to, uh, like, I've, I've kind of gone through this, like, because I've had a sort of mainstream career in life with normal people, and now I'm an astrologer, you know, and I read tarot cards, like, <laughs> it's like the, my old community of people, and I would imagine that they would 
find it weird what I'm doing now but it's like I had to let all that go and I'm so glad I did because I've got a brand new community I've got you guys and I've got you know all this new life come in for me that is so much more me and I'm so much happier with so I, I get to be me as well you know so it's it, it, it boy are you rewarded for being true to yourself and for letting go the thing that doesn't suit you anymore it's a it's a really good thing to do so I can tell you 100% you will feel amazing once you make the transition once once you let go once you do the releasing kind of work Scorpio I believe is the point in the zodiac where we you know the highest uh, transformation is possible and it, it makes it a very challenging part of the zodiac but equally an enormously rewarding one and we've got the number eight here look at that we've got eight here twice so I mean because this is eight right so so interesting so what else oh yeah and we've also got six seven eight how interesting this I love this spread guys this is really I just when I got it I was like wow when I looked at it I was like this is like an arrow or something so in the context of what are you gifted at okay let's take a look at these in that context what are you gifted at or if you've got these challenges right now what are you really good at well I would say I would say you are really good at letting go and if you're resistant to that if you're resistant to me saying that that you're really good at it you're like I'm not good at it okay I want you to think of a time where you successfully let something go and one a good way to do this is okay one of my friends she uh, is having this thing with this romantic partner and she's she doesn't get why this person has let her go she just can't understand it she's like I just what is it and, and she she knows she can't exactly call him up and say could you just you know give me a bullet point list of all the things you don't like about me she knows she can't do that but she's kind of all her conversations revolve around okay what could it be you know this that and I once said to her look has there been you know when when she's been out on this dating scene there have been people that she hasn't wanted to go out with and for hardly any valid reason sometimes it's just there so one guy it was that he didn't cut his hair or something like and she was just like I don't want him anymore so <laughs> I'm going into this long story because I pointed out to her well hang on a minute well you you're very good at letting go you know because she's struggling letting this guy go who kind of went away from her but I'm like but you know I say to my friend but you're very good at saying goodbye to somebody with ease too and she stopped and she thought about it and she's like yeah I do see that and I and I said to her that and do you remember how there wasn't much of a reason why you didn't like that person and she was like yeah and I'm like well everybody has that that right you know everybody has that um that freedom you know and I, I've had this in my life a lot with people just for any reason no reason they just can't stand me <laughs> whatever and that's fine but it's also like but equally there'll be some people that I'm just with and I'm, yes I, I observe that in myself you know that um, that we must give the other the right to let us go with ease because we have let people go with ease too so if this is a love thing if this is some kind of but I, I, I'm mm, Scorpio it could be yeah it's interesting we went down that road I wasn't expecting that let's take a look but I, I'm of all these cards I'm saying that you're gifted at letting go you can do it and if you are resistant to me saying that look at your life look at where you've let go with ease where you've walked out of a job you're like you know what I just can't do that job anymore and you're like I just I need to go and I need to never give that place another thought there will be so many instances in your life we've been just clean cut clear about it let go with ease everybody's happy you know no residue no bad feelings you can do it you can really really do it you just find the place or places in your life and that's the other thing that's something I do if there's something I'm struggling with in my love life I look like okay 
Where have I done it? Maybe I've done it successfully in my work life. And then I've seen myself do it somewhere else. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. You know, so if you're struggling with something, look at, okay, I'm not good at it in this part of my life, but maybe in another part of my life I can do it. I think you've got a gift for letting go, even though you, you might not think you do. Okay, let's take a look at what song lyric wants to come for you. Oh my gosh, I can't choose. Okay, I'm going again. <laughs> we want one, because I'm going to try and... We're going to try and just stick with these and um, because then, I don't know, I want to do poetry or something. I also want to do like a past life thing. I've got quite a lot. Ooh, Michael Jackson, man in the mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Wow. And no message could have been any clearer. That honestly, when I first drew this, I was just like, this is like an arrow. Did I say that in this? I was like, this spread is just like so obvious what he's trying to say so interesting wow so yeah i mean look release release everybody around you and look at yep the man in the mirror look at yourself in the mirror and go you know who am i what do i want to be and the more you be what you want to be you're going to attract in like vibrations you really will and we, we are the ones who have to change and we have to act. And sometimes I do find that with charts where there's heavy Scorpio and people are maybe hoarding or having difficulty letting go or whatever it is, uh, I do find sometimes those people come some kind of lack, ac lack action sometimes. Yeah, I'm thinking of one chart in particular and, and the person who, um, it's a Scorpio thing sometimes. Mm. So you're going to need action whatever this is whatever's going on here well i mean your action is very clear you're being asked to let go uh that is for sure so group two i hope this has been a good reading for you let me know in the comments below i love hearing from you guys i love to know how these readings go and take care stay well out there and i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Well, let's take a look at what cards you've drawn through. Now, as with any of my readings, take on board what resonates, discard what doesn't. It's a general reading, so not everything will be exactly for you. The other thing is use your intuition as we go. See what pops into your mind. See what strikes you, what speaks to you. That's why I always like to give a bit of time with each card without me saying what I think because I want you to see what do you think okay gateway do you know I have never drawn this I didn't even know this was in the deck and I do look at all my cards when I get a new deck I have a look at all of them and I study them a little bit and I totally forgot this one and I've never drawn it so group three whoops you are pulling through some magnificent stuff here okay we've got conjunction zero degrees so you're all in one house huh <laughs> everyone's together yep sounds familiar everyone's together these days no one's going anywhere all right knight of wands upright that's beautiful that's a great card i know Move that up. Move that up. Good. All right, we've got the Six of Swords. Upright. This is a beautiful depiction of the Six of Swords. We've even got kind of lilies in the water. It's really beautiful. This is very much a card of moving to calmer waters. Okay, and we've got the Nine of Wands upright okay so in a general sense what do I see here and then I'll we'll take a look at what your gifts are so in a general sense I think do you know I remember when I looked at these earlier and I just thought I think you guys are fine I think you might be in some kind of 
chaos and or conflict okay I think you might be going through something where where things aren't a hundred percent things are a bit tough you're in a tight spot maybe you are in some real proper chaos and conflict but I see that you're actually doing fine I think mentally emotionally I think in every way you're actually doing great I'm not getting any indication that you're struggling or suffering in any way I kind of I get the sense that you see what's going on or it might even be the state of the world it might be the state of the world that you're like you know what this, this world I mean what are we doing here <laughs> right it could be it could be that it could be um, that could be the chaos and, and conflict that you are looking at and a deepening awareness of this and I remember when I was looking at this spread yeah in a general sense I did get a sense that you're fine but you, I think at times you do feel the burden I think you do feel that man this is a hard slog you know when are things going to change yes you might be in a tight spot you might be stuck in a house with you know I don't know people a bit difficult or but the thing is I sense that you see it all and you're fine and I get the sense that you you know this was yeah the reason I got that is that this moving on card you're good at moving on you're good at acknowledging and seeing okay you know things aren't good around me I see it I can I, firstly I can see it okay how many people can really open up their eyes and really look at what's going on how many people can even just do that you can so the, this is a gift you have you can look you can look at the world is in a mess or this house is in a mess or whatever it is that you're looking at you can see it but you're not going to let it bring you down you're not going to let it dampen your spirit you're not going to you're still going to be able to be creative in fact you'll take some of this chaos and conflict and you'll make art out of it we've got the wands here we've got fire energy we've got the sun there you can get on your horse and you can create it's really really powerful stuff here it's brilliant we've also got I mean this this is one's energy yes it's creativity it's fire but it's kind of a bit burden it's kind of like it's getting a bit hard but what you know is that there is a brighter future on the horizon and this card reminded me of Wendy Kennedy Wendy Kennedy said that our job is not to sit here and, and just look at heaven or whatever our job we are of heaven and we're meant to bring heaven here we're meant to bring home here okay because our home is up there you know where there are unicorns and there's bliss and magic and all this beautiful gorgeous blissful stuff right that's where we come from that's actually home because she was saying and I can't remember I think you can probably google it Wendy Kennedy and home she had this brilliant thing about our job is to bring home here yeah because many people are on earth in this and they're wanting to go home they're wanting to go to be in in bliss and hence why we meditate and we do all the spiritual things that we do right we, we want to be more up there kind of thing and not so much down here but our job actually is to bring up here down here that is very much what we're wanting to do and I think you guys know that on a deep level and I think you're doing it as well uh, I think you're doing amazing group three I, I do often get that feeling I know that there are quite a few regular group three people as well I think each number gets some regular people I know for me on J, where, where do I go JJ constellation I do pick group three quite a bit over there <laughs> but then equally I do I, ju I jump around on, on other channels all right well, let's take a look at song lyrics let's see what comes through for you guys it'll be really interesting to see what song lyric oh okay I've, I've dropped it I'm closed my eyes I'm gonna pick another one I really want to shuffle I did that in group two as well just now okay this one 
this one wants to come through. All right, let's see what you've got. Let's see what comes through. I love doing this bit. It's so much fun. And because I've completely forgotten. By the way, the bird came to say hello. I would have shown you the bird, but but then he went away. He or she, I don't know. All right. Ooh. Oh, how beautiful. This is a great song, too. I love this song. Deep inside your hearts for you to keep lies a spark of light that never sleeps. The greatest love you've ever known, yeah, is written in the stone. This is such a good song, but this is very much, this is your, this is like a, a manifestation of what we were talking about here with these two that, you know, lies a spark of light that never sleeps. That is your permanent connection to the divine. To this realm you are permanently connected and tuned into this that is deep inside your hearts for you to keep lies a spark of light that never sleeps the greatest love you've ever known yeah is written in the stone and you know this look at that light to stone and that's that is kind of very much uh what we've got here it's like bringing the light bringing this beautiful light and earthing it and grounding it here ideally yeah in the stone gosh imagine if you you make some kind of artwork that gets well I mean you know people have sculptures made of them and stuff and I'm thinking of those Hollywood uh, footpaths and things get written in the stone you know like yeah and that happens to people who I guess who who bring a lot of light and love and they ground it here to the to the earth and you I think you've totally got this potential through your art through what it is that you're doing you know I'm sure you're doing this and this is the thing because we talked about art here this was all about art and creativity and the Sun and you being inspired by this you see, because what's happening here on Earth, I know it's terrible and I know it's horrible and I know, you know, uh, it's not good. But can we, can we be inspired by it? Can we pick up? Because, you know, art is always, um, it's never perfect. You know, I'm, oh God, I'm thinking of two things at once here. One thing I'm thinking of Michael Jackson because the song from last time, what? How are we doing on time? Yeah, 10 minutes. It's okay. Um, the song from last time was a Michael Jackson song. And I'm thinking of Star Wars. Because, you know, okay, I'm just going to say whatever's in my mind, I'll just say it. Because it's coming in for some reason. So, Star Wars. That was such, like the first one that came out. In, like, was it 79 or something like that? But, like, before that, sci fi films were always. They always had a very clean look, didn't they? They were always very clean and perfect and like there's no dirt in space. And one of the great things about Star Wars was, you know, George Lucas depicted robots that didn't work and broke and things were dirty and, you know, it was so real because of the grit and the grime, you know? And like, I just, yeah, I just think that you can be inspired by the chaos like and even if this is not the state of the world and this is maybe your work environment where it's chaotic or your house or something there could be something inspirational there like in the mess and you're this unicorn that's kind of like staying high vibe amongst all of this so there was that I was thinking of now Michael Jackson popped in at the same time okay why was I thinking of him because just now that song, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Oh, no, that's right. Michael Jackson came in because as an artist, he would do this. He would take what's in his immediate vicinity, the chaos and the conflict. So the press used to pick on him so much. And they're like, what would they say? They would say things like, he's married to his monkey. And I don't know, just crazy stuff. 
So, do you know, that was actually the inspiration, I think, the media picking on him was the inspiration for that song, You Want to Be Starting Something. I mean, it produced such a beautiful song, didn't it? So, you know, chaos and conflict, artists thrive, actually, and incorporate mess and grit and problems and make beautiful art out of that and I think that you've got a gift for being able to move on for being able to bear a lot okay so you are bearing a lot but I think you can make something out of it <laughs> I think you can make some creative thing out of it and look deep inside of your hearts for you to keep lies a spark of light that never sleeps and that's this can you see the rays that are coming out of here I don't know if that is visible but that, that is you right there. Isn't that just stunning? And this is the gateway. This is, this is, yeah, this is you. Oh, group three. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this reading. So I hope that there's been some good messages in here for, for someone out there. Let me know in the comments below um, if this resonated or drop a like or whatever. And thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being here. And... I look forward to seeing you next time.